What's going on? I'm JJ Watt. You're watching the JR Sports Brief. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's JR. You're checking out the Sport Brief. It's great to be back here in New York City. I had an awesome time down in Rio for the 2016 Olympics. I hope you're following me on Snapchat and Instagram. I'll add you back on Snapchat, and you can keep up with all of the cool things that I'm doing. Much love to the folks at DeVry uh, University. They hooked me up with some of their student athletes. But right now, it's all about the NFL. This is my top six list of NFL teams for the year 2016, in no particular order. And if you disagree, which I'm sure you will go ahead say hey jr you suck i'm a grown man i can take it i'm just glad that you're here watching and we're going to start off with the new england patriots i don't care if tom brady is missing games because he played around with balls he could be sitting around with his wife drinking caparinas right now but he's one of the greatest quarterbacks ever he's gonna come back and they still have bill belichick who's gonna go out there and try some secret sith voodoo to try to win the games and then they still have rob gronkowski obviously he's gonna catch balls down the middle he's gonna run over little guys and then he's gonna score touchdowns and do weird things after the games now, shout outs to my main man, Moose, who's right there doing weird things with Rob Gronkowski. I think that's an ice cream truck. Uh, I don't know what the hell they were doing out there. And we're going to stick in the AFC, and we're going to go down to Pittsburgh with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I know Martavis Bryant is gone. I know Le'Veon Bell is going to miss three games. Uh, if the Steelers can stay away from weed and they can stay healthy, they're going to be a great team. They're going to put up points. Antonio Brown last season had 1,800 yards receiving. He he had 10 touchdowns and he had Michael Vick throwing him the damn football for what? Three, four, five games, whatever it was. He still put up big numbers. If Ben Roethlisberger is healthy, if he's not standing in the middle acting like he could take every single hit, the Steelers will be another great team. They're going to put up points, and I wouldn't be surprised if they go back to the playoffs. They are one of the top six teams in the NFL for this upcoming season. Stay away from the weed. Stay away from the injuries. The Steelers will be perfectly fine. And show up for your damn drug test, people. Next up on the list, we're going to talk about the team that went to the Super Bowl and got destroyed by Von Miller. It is the Carolina Panthers. They still have Cam Newton. He's like Rob Gronkowski, except for he's throwing the ball. And it's amazing to me, last season, they did all of this with Kelvin Benjamin out for the entire year. This year, they have him back. Uh, they're going to put up numbers. I know Josh Norman is on the Redskins now, where he will become irrelevant. But the Carolina Panthers... They are one of the top teams in the NFL. Uh, Cam Newton to Kelvin Benjamin, look out for it. And Cam Newton's still going to run everybody and their mother over. And speaking of wide receivers that have had injuries, we're going to move on to Green Bay and talk about my main man, Jordy Nelson, and the Green Bay Packers. Aaron Rodgers, in my opinion, I would start him as my quarterback if I had a choice. I think he's the best quarterback in the NFL. I feel like he walks around with a quarterback rating of 97, and they still went to the playoffs last year without Jordy Nelson. He's back. He has to work himself into game shape, and they barely got beaten the playoffs last year to the Arizona Cardinals, who beat them in overtime because of weird stuff by Larry Fitzgerald. He had some type of career renaissance last season, and the Packers got eliminated. Bottom line is, any team with Aaron Rodgers is going to be great. Moving on down the list, we're going to talk about the team that went to the NFC title game and got blown out by the Carolina Panthers. We're talking about the Arizona Cardinals. It's still amazing to me that Carson Palmer is going through this career rejuvenation. He has all these great wild receivers, but when you look at the Arizona Cardinals defense, Ty Matthew, my main man, Patrick Peterson, they're doing it up. I expect them to be another top team. Are they going to go to the Super Bowl? I don't know. It would be nice to see Mr. Minnesota right there, Larry Fitzgerald, finally get an NFL title. And last but not least, we're going to go with the Seattle Seahawks. I know your main man, Beast Mode, has finally retired. They're going to have to rely on Christian Michael, uh, Thomas Rawls, if his ankle could be healthy. But when you have a quarterback who threw for 4,000 yards, is a threat to rush for 500 to 800, and you still have guys like Richard Sherman, Earl Thomas, Michael Bennett on the defense, the Seattle Seahawks will be a great team. They're always one of the top defenses, and they even have Jimmy Graham back, and your main man Doug Baldwin stepped up as one of the top NFL wide receivers last year. Those are my top six NFL teams for the upcoming 2016 season. There are no Denver Broncos on it. I know their defense is great, but have you seen their quarterback? Mark Sanchez, he gives up the ball at every opportunity. The NFL is unpredictable. They'll be a great team that I didn't mention. And one of the teams I mentioned will probably be trash. This is JR. You're checking out the Sport Brief.
Who are your top six teams? Hit me up, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. I holla back. Peace.